my screech owl box it's uh 23 inches tall it's cap proof because it's such a long drop to come down and uh i built them the last 30 plus years so i put sealed up all the holes ran 40 year cock on the seams and glued all the knots so they should last 30 plus years yeah and i won't be around to see the end of it but uh at least I'll know they're there. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then you were telling us about the uh, the ventilation, how and everything's different. Yeah. From this the... is the air system I designed, and it's a uh, drain holes, air holes, air holes, and an LVHV slot, which is basically a low volume of higher velocity air. Um, basically, that means more can get out than can get in, mm -hmm. so it comes in quicker. No, oh, and moves the air. So that's how we cool com uh, computers down in the early 80s when yeah. there was no fans left. Yeah. So. Well, and you, you're also saying that, that like, you know, some of the boxes and stuff like that, you'll have to uh, take them apart or open them up to clean them out. But the owls take care of all that for us. They don't They don't use any material at all. Matter yeah. of fact, they, I took one down after 14 years in my backyard, and it was as clean as the day I put it up. They have to roll up the baby poop and fly way off to keep the coons from smelling them and, and killing them, eating them, yeah. bird dinner, you know, yeah. chicken dinner here. So, yeah, Mother Nature taking it, doing its thing. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, I've been doing these for about a year and a half now. Okay. I put up, so far, 372. Wow. So, this is the, this is my dream come true. Good. Yeah. Well, yeah. A sanctuary in Peace Park for Screech Owls. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, I, I, I'm elated. Yeah. All right, well, let's get them, let's get, let's get them started. Let's get started, yeah. All right. Awesome.